Hi everyone, this is Lisa with Lisa's Coloring Corner. If you're new here, hello and welcome to the channel. And if you're back, welcome back. This is a set of Art and Fly pencils. This is a 120 set and uh, comes with this cardboard sleeve on the back. It says these vibrant creamy colored pencils with thick cores blend and layer beautifully. The Art and Fly oil based colored pencils break less easily, allow more layers because of the absence of wax bloom and hold a sharper point. Highly pigmented hues, soft wood for easy sharpening, zip up bag to keep pencils organized. Set includes eight unique metallic colors. If you want a free art tutorial, you can scan that QR code. We have some social media information here. And it does have the ASTM that it conforms to, so I don't know if they're saying these are light fast. I doubt it because they would have mentioned it there. On the side, I see we do have a color chart. Now, of course, this is printed by a printer. So the color that comes out of the pencils will most likely not match those. We can see these must be the metallic colors. So we do have purple and a couple blues, a couple greens, a couple browns, and a gray. So we'll have to see what those look like. So let's get this sleeve off and it's in the handle. Hmm. Okay, we're just going to rip it. <laughs> we won't be needing it anyhow. All right, so it does come in a case, which is nice. And we have their logo here. A nice uh, heavy duty canvas case, it seems like. Handle over here, double zipper. Let's have a look at the pencil. So, I like the fact that it already comes in a case. That alone is worth money, right? You don't have to buy a case. Now, this is one reason I don't like the single zipper cases. It's hard to get at these in the first and last sleeve, if you will. So what I do is I end up turning these inside out <laughs> so I can get to them. These sleeves are in here pretty snug. I must say that the middle ones aren't that bad, but these are, yeah, a little snug. Um, but let's take a look at the pencil itself. And let's zoom in a little bit. Right off the bat, they kind of remind me, color-wise only, I guess, of the uh, ColorSoft, Derwent, Derwent ColorSoft pencils with this uh, brown kind of maroon brown barrel. But on here, we do have the Art and Fly in silver metallic. And on the other side, we do have a color name and a number, so that's awesome. And then the end is dipped with that particular color, and it is um, an enclosed end, which I like to me. That just makes them look more professional. The only downside to that is you don't see whether the lead is centered or not. So they are sharpened to kind of a flat uh, tip. And that is only because, you know, for the purpose of shipping so they don't break. So, they look like a very nice pencil. Um, they do have a 3.5 
millimeter core, so not quite as thick as some. Some are 3.8. They are nice and light, so they do feel like a little bit of a, a thinner pencil, but yeah, very nice and light. Um, I do always like the matte barrels more than the shiny, glossy barrels because you can read them so much easier. And the name is nice and big, so much easier to see. I still wish they would not print in metallic letters, but almost every single pencil does. There are a few out there that don't, but for some reason they all like this, especially silver. They like this shiny silver lettering. And depending on what light you're in, sometimes it gets hard to read. This is a strange word. Byzantium. Hmm. Let's see what a different one is. Lipstick. Okay. <laughs> That's a normal name. Okay, so what I'm going to do, as I do in all of my swatching videos now, is I am going to pause <laughs> and I am going to sharpen all of these. I'm going to just put them in an approximate order. The yellows look like they're already in a pretty good order. Orange, reds, into, you know, maybe I could just kind of leave them. Well, no, we have some purples in here where they probably should be over here. And then pinks, more purples, blues. So, yeah, I'll rearrange them a little bit. So, it does look like we have quite a few yellows, reds, few purples. Look at the pinks, though. Aren't they pretty? And quite a few purples. This is a, I didn't even say that, a 120 set of oil based pencils. A lot of blues. Quite a few greens. Holy cow. So we're going from here all the way to here. <laughs> then, I don't know if these are just cream yellows. What is the name of this? Yeah, Tuscan Sun. Leaf bud. Okay, we're going to have some unique names in this set. Pale, pale marigold. So yeah, these will probably go up, or they will go up with the yellows. Morning light. So these are definitely yellows. I thought maybe they were going to have a tinge of green to them. Oh, we do have some skin tones. Then we get into all of the browns, the grays, and then here are our metallics. There are some pretty colors in here. Like I said, I'm going to see, I don't know, this is kind of snug. If I'm going to be able to bend this back, I may end up putting these pencils in a different case. I mean, it's so nice, like I said, that they come in a case, but I don't know if I'm in love <laughs> with this case. So I... I have some cases upstairs, some extra pencil cases, so I may, yeah, just transfer this. I think with this case, it's going to be really hard to get at some of the pencils. So, yeah, I will pause. Like I said, I will sharpen them, put them in a little bit of a different order, write out a color chart so I don't have to be writing everything down while we're swatching. And then we'll swatch out all the pencils and we'll see how they lay down. So, for you, it's just going to be a second. For me, it may be a week. <laughs> all right, we'll see you in a bit. Okay, got them all sharpened. Did it a while ago, so if <laughs> I repeat myself, I apologize. I did end up taking them out of this case. It's really unfortunate because, you know, it does have their um, emblem on the case. It would have been so nice to keep them in this case. It's just way too tight. 
Um, yeah. So what I typically do, like I've stated in the past, is I fold these back to get to the front and the last sleeve, if you will, on the one zipper pencil cases. You can't do that with this one. So I put the pencils in what I like, and that's the multiple zipper <laughs> pencil case. And I know a lot of people don't like the multiple zipper cases, but I have a trick. Um, if you like the multiple zipper cases, or even if you don't, you can put a paper binder ring, and then you can pull them all shut at once, or open them all at once. Now this is kind of stretched tight yet um, so to start it out it's a little difficult once you get it going or especially opening um, yeah normally works much better than this that's why I wasn't going to do it on this case um, because I did just put the pencils in here so it is kind of snug but and I got this hooked around wrong not a good example, is it? But I have them on other pencil cases and it works really well. So, that is an idea. All right, so yes, I put them in this pencil case. It does have the individual um, loops, which I do prefer rather than the bigger loops that you put three pencils in. So, um, I'll leave a link down below to this pencil case. You do have a few extra slots in the back. So let's get swatching. As usual, I did make up my preliminary color chart that I make up. I create these. Um, I'm going to color on this uh, binder whatever you call it, <laughs> because this is too soft to color on. And because this is extremely hard, I think I'm going to color on a piece of cardstock behind there. So let's get out the first sheet. And of course, the first one is white which of course isn't really gonna show up. But that was number one. I did take these out, rearrange them in an approximate order just by looking at the tip, the color, you know, of the tip, because of course you don't wanna go according to this. This looks like a very pale yellow. Looks much more orange at the tip. So this one is called Tuscan Sun. Number, oh, 59. I wrote 39. So this is a five. Good thing I double checked. Okay, so this is it's a very nice peach. Kind of on the yellow side, but. So I'm not sure why I put that up there. <laughs> 101 leaf bud. Now you would think of this as a green. It's very pale skin tone. So it would be a nice highlight color. Now these do feel like a harder pencil. Pale Marigold 58. I believe they are oil based. So far, they seem to be laying down color well. It's kind of hard to tell because their eggs are so pale. Morning Light 57. That's a very nice, very pale yellow. So, yeah, I would be moving some of these around. That leaf bud is so light you can hardly see it. 
We have yellow, zero, two. Now I have sharpened these to quite a fine tip, but they don't seem to be breaking at all. Lemon, zero, three. Oh, that's a pretty yellow. So I am pressing hard. And the tips are doing fine. Dandelion 04. And you do keep quite a bit of the lead, so you won't be sharpening these as often as a softer, like, wax-based pencil. Honey 07. Yeah, I liked <laughs> this name. It's called Sepia 06. Wouldn't you think of Sepia as a darker brown? And this definitely is not. I'm not sure if I would keep this up here or put it in with the browns. Quite dark for up here. Butterscotch 08. Again, doesn't look like a butterscotch. This looks like skin tone. Maybe a little too yellow. Looks like we do have some nice skin tones though. We have Sand Pearl 102, which is a little bit darker. Salmon 60. So these two would go nice together. Melon, 61. So we are getting just a little darker. And Sunset, 62. So I tried to keep this color family together as a nice kind of blend. And then Mustard 103. Mm, they definitely go up with the yellows. I think maybe I would move these down after all the yellows. But I like the yellows. See, I never know where to put the peach colors. I may end up putting them before the pinks um, because I like doing the yellows into oranges into reds. It just seems like a nice succession of, you know, colors. Canary, 05. Okay, into light orange, it looks like. Italian Villa, 107. That's a nice lighter orange. This is a good example of not going according to the tip color. Let's look at this. Then look at the color of the tip. <laughs> nothing, whoops, nothing like each other. So yeah, definitely don't go by the color that's painted on. Go more by the lead itself. And it still may end up coming down on, you know, coloring on the paper a little bit differently, but get a much better idea of the color. So a little bit of a darker orange. That's Carrot 64. Tangelo 09. A little bit darker. Starting to get into the red oranges. Paprika 12. And I got paprika. Paprika. 
right? Yeah. <laughs> Must have been half asleep when I wrote this chart out. Pumpkin, 10. Okay, this one's a little bit lighter, so it would go before that. And we have Tiger, 13. Looks like a little bit of pink in that red. Chili, 15. It's a nice red. True red, 16. Now the painted tip definitely doesn't look like a true red. <laughs> And the tip, too. Looks like a darker red, but we'll see. It isn't that dark, but again, it has a more pink undertone. So it doesn't look like we really have a... Well, I guess that one is kind of... Hmm. Boy, looking at them now in the case, I don't have these in good order. <laughs> Cinnamon, 11. Very much a brown color, so I don't know if I'll leave this up here. I think I may be moving that to the browns. And I don't know if I forgot this one or why it's down here. <laughs> this one is crimson, 17. Again, very much with a pink undertone. She wouldn't think of crimson as having... Although on camera, it's looking very red. When I went over it a second time, it does look better. Not quite as pink. Let, all right, speaking of pink, we're going to go into the pinks. Bubblegum 25. That's pretty. Watermelon, 26. These don't seem to have quite the lay down as some of the other budget per, budget friendly yeah, budget friendly pencils I've swatched blush pink 93 I mean they're not bad especially for the price they're very inexpensive pencils for this 120 set $30.95 as of today so 31 bucks for 120 pencils with the case if you keep them in that case Kirby 95 and then they do also have a 72 set if you don't want to try the big 120 set right off the bat the 72 set is 24.95 so 25 bucks and then they also have a 48 set, which is $19.95. Exotic Bloom 96. Oh, that's a pretty color. See, now some of these do seem to lay down more color. I will, of course, leave links to all three sets down below in the description. Rosebud 94. Now I know the 72 set comes in a nice tin because I've seen those. I can't remember what the 48 comes in. I think it actually comes in a 
cylindrical, you know, cardboard tube, sort of, with the 48 in, which I personally don't like. To me, that makes them look even cheaper. <laughs> and that's just my opinion, but Fuchsia 22, so I don't like them in that. I think I personally think of those as really budget pencils, which I guess these are. Alright, let's go up to the next column. And we have lipstick. Oh, that's pretty. I like that. Very pretty. Barry Rossi, 97. Because they are a harder lead, I really am not getting any dust whatsoever from these pencils so far with the colors we've gone through. French Wine 98. Again. Not sure why I have this here. <laughs> Lilac 27. Now this one you can see. You can't see because you know they're capped off on the end so you can't see if they are centered or not. The vast majority of them when I sharpened them they were they were perfect. They were great. However this one as you can see we have a lot more wood around the tip on that side than this side. So that tells you that that core is not centered. I still did not have a problem sharpening it. So I'm not sure how big of a problem that is going to be in this pencil. And it may be no problem whatsoever. So just thought I would mention it. And then we have Magenta 23. Ooh, that's pretty. We have Raspberry 24. Very similar to the previous color a little bit different. This one has a little bit more kind of of a red undertone to it. Or a pink I should say. Mulberry 19. Mystic Maroon 100. Mystic. Very much on the purple side. Now this one I don't really know how to pronounce. Byzantium. <laughs> Byzantium 20. Never heard of that one before. So a darker purple. And then we have rhubarb. Oh, ripe rhubarb. Let me write that in there. Ripe. Number 99. Right, pomegranate, 18. It's a nice dark reddish brown. And we are now into 
the purples. So we have Lavender 28. That's very pretty. Deep Amethyst 90. Oh yeah, those two go together nicely. Iris 29. Yeah, these two are pretty similar. This one is maybe just a tad darker. Spanish Violet, 92. Definitely, a, you know, starting with a different undertone. Grape, 91. Definitely got to put these in a different order. Now we kind of go to the blues. Greek C88. Now this would be on the purple side yet though. So it's more like a real pale purple more than blue. Then, oh yeah, regatta. 89. Thought I had them in the wrong order. It's a pretty sky blue. And baby blue 40. Yeah, it's kind of an aqua color. I guess I don't think of baby blue looking like that. Santorini, 83. So you can see this definitely, the baby blue has more, even more green in it. Ocean Boat, 84. And Carolina Blue, 82. Hey, that rhymes. I have a snoring dog in the background. <laughs> Azure, 41. Sapphire, 38. Oh, that's pretty. Next up, we have Honolulu, 85. I wish I was in Honolulu. Get away from all the snow. <laughs> we have Fading Night 87. That's pretty. Is it Lapis? Lapis? Lapis 35. Some of these pencil color names and marker names. <laughs> Especially like the Karen Dosh. Is it the Poplar or the Luminance? Boy, they have some names in that one. <laughs> we have Navy 
30. I would think navy would be darker than this. But regardless, that is a pretty blue. Egyptian blue, 36. So yeah, according to the undertones, I have these out of order quite a bit. Indigo, 31. Oh, definitely going to go up with the purples. That is not an indigo. <laughs> and because the lead is so dark, it was hard for me to tell that. And it does look like a dark blue. It's like, surprise! Oxford Blue, 34. Yeah, that was a shocker. <laughs> I'm like, what? It's a pretty purple, but... Wow. That's as good as in the set of the Evazar which I just reviewed too. I don't know if you'll see that before or after this one. Um, was it slate gray? Something way at the end. Definite purple. <laughs> Royal blue, 37. I don't know what it is about the purples. <laughs> it's ironic. This one is definitely not an indigo, and that other one was definitely not gray. Let's see. Looks like we're getting into some darker blues. Aubergine, 32. Move this up a little bit so I can rest my wrist on something. This, like aubergine should be, very much has, is a darker purple also. Finally, we have Prussian Blue, 33. So we do have a nice darker blue. So yay for that. Now we have some aquas before we get into the greens. And I never know where to put these if I should put them by the blues, the greens. I guess it will depend on the undertone, whether it's more blue or more green. This one is turquoise, 39. You can't even see me. Oh, that is gorgeous. More green, though. Bayside, 77. A little bit more blue in that one. And Dark Cerulean 86. Oh, that's so pretty. Definitely a blue undertone. These two would go with the greens. This would go with the blues. Okay, different undertone in the greens. I'm going to start with pistachio 74. So like a nice mint green. Leprechaun 75. Appropriate because we're coming up on St. Patty's Day. <laughs> Viridian, 43. That's a nice green. That would be pretty for leaves. Seventy-six, Eucalyptus.
Peacock 42. Oh, that's pretty. Well, that one had a really nice lay down of color. I think sometimes it does depend on the color. Mint 56. Definitely not a mint. It's very pale <laughs> yellow green. This was definitely a mint. So we're getting into the yellow greens. Oh, here's another name. Brazilianite is <laughs> 79. Oh, isn't that pretty? It's like a spring green. Spring, yes, spring. Lime 45. Can you tell I'm sick of winter? <laughs> Not at all, right? Keep getting all these snowstorms. It's March. It's the middle of March. Kelly Green, 46. Aquamarine, 73. Jade, 44. I was going to swatch these in number order at first. And I thought, no, nah, that just makes it all that much harder to make a finalized color chart. So, Cadmium Green, 54. Avocado, 81. I love this name. <laughs> Inchworm, 78. <laughs> Is that the color of an inchworm? Lawn Green, 80. Here we go again. I wish my lawn was this color. <laughs> it's white. <laughs> Fern, 55. Now, I didn't have any problems sharpening this, these pencils, with the exception of one. Um, the tip did break on me. Now, whether that was the fault of the pencils or operator error, I don't know. Um, sea green, 48. Otherwise, they all sharpen very nicely. Came to a nice, fine tip really quickly. And I always use my AF mat. Um, called an electric sharpener but it's actually a rechargeable sharpener this particular model is no longer available there is an upgraded rechargeable um, sharpener I'll leave a link to that down below too because I just love this sharpener you can adjust how sharp you want the lead plus even the brute Fruner squares fit in here so your thinner pencils your uh, thicker pencils, your square pencils, triangular, they all fit in that thing. So Malachite 47, kind of got off track there, didn't I? So along with the pencil sets, I will link that pencil sharpener. Emerald 49. Well, that's a nice dark green. Yay for dark greens. Forest green, 52. 
another really dark green. A little bit different than the pre. This one has a little bit more blue in it. 50 Deep Moss. Okay, this and Emerald. Pretty similar. This one does have a little more blue. Pretty similar though. Artichoke, 53. Now I kind of put this down here because it looked like it had quite a bit more gray in it. Yeah. And it does. Still kind of goes in here though. Finally, the last green before we get to the browns is Cape Verde, 51. Another nice dark green, definitely with the blue undertone. Reminds me of like a blue spruce. <laughs> Let's go on to the earth tones. So, first up we have sandstone 63. Orangish undertone. And I think... That's where I would fit this honey, maybe, before that one. Damascene or Damascene 106, I would think Damascene. A little more yellow in that one. It's a very pretty color. It's amazing when you get these down on paper how different they look than what you think they would. <laughs> Even looking at the tip, very different. Dry Seedlings 104. It's a different name too, isn't it? Now this does have like that green undertone, so I'm not sure if it's going to stay here or not. Kind of like a green brown. Tawny 65. Oh, that's pretty. Kind of a red brown. Sappin wood, 108. Oh, yeah. Love these colors, especially for like hair. Pecan, 66. Mmm, that one too. Brick, 14. Very much on the red side. I'm not sure if that one, well, probably will stay down here. I think it's more fitting with the browns than the reds. Bread crust, <laughs> 105. Does your bread crust look like that? I think my bread crust has a little more yellow in than that. <laughs> Chocolate, 68. Getting into some darker browns. And then we get into the grays. Cedar 67. So, yeah, that one's darker. Finally, we have. Rosewood 109. Why I have this at the end, I have no idea. Because <laughs> I said must have been asleep when I wrote this out. Okay, on to the grays. We have Mist Gray 110. 
very, very pale gray, which if you use your grays a lot, it's nice to have that. I am not a gray person. <laughs> I know some of you use your grays a lot. Pewter, 69. Now, just by look, I tried to get these into cools and warms. It just seemed like there were so many more warms than cools, but it was hard to tell, you know, just by this. So this is Cloud 111. Now that it's down on paper, this looks more cool and this is more warm. That's a cool cloud. Steel, 70. Yeah. Another cool one. So I lied. Not a lot of worms. Cool. <laughs> Iron, 71. So we're getting to the much darker grays. Slate gray, and then we have all the metallics. So slate gray, definitely the blue undertone. Kind of like the Payne's gray, isn't it? It's a pretty gray. Then charcoal. It's not called black. It's called charcoal. 72. I've never seen this in a pencil set before. Let's see how dark. Now I sharpened this to a very fine tip, so I... Don't really want to color too hard with it, so let's just layer. But it does get to be a nice dark black. So again, not sure why it's called charcoal and not black. <laughs> let's go through the metallics. Now, me personally, I wish they would have just done away with the metallics added some more colors <laughs> in. That's just me. Metallic Plum 219. Again, I really sharpened this one to a fine tip. Ooh. Probably getting sick and tired of sharpening all the pencils. <laughs> now with these metallics, I am noticing a little more dust. Orchid 220. How many of you use your metallic colored pencils? I don't think I ever have. I mean, they could come in handy for like jewelry and crowns and maybe things like doorknobs. Magnetic blue 218. But I don't know of too many people who actually use the metallics. Brushed green, 216. That's kind of a neat green. These are much smoother pencils. Just due to the fact of the composition of the pencil. Metallic green, 217, just to give it that metallic look. Just kind of like gel pens, too. Metallic gel pens and glitter gel pens for that matter. Much, much smoother than the standard or the pastel or neon. Those are very scratchy. Brushed silver, 213. Yeah. So I could kind of see using this silver, gold, and copper maybe. This one is Gold Leaf 215. Do you see the shine though? They shine pretty good. Yeah, I'll show you when I'm done. So we have a nice gold here. I don't know if you hear my dog snoring behind me. <laughs> Copper 214. Last but not least. That is quite an orange copper. Ooh, 
I would not call that copper. Let's see if we can see how shiny they are. I don't know if you can or not. They don't look super shiny to me. They are shinier than the other pencils, but as far as a metallic pencil, they don't seem real shiny. Which, like I said, to me is not a big deal. I don't use the metallic pencils. I guess when I turn it this far into the light, I can see a little bit of shine. But yeah, not much shine for the, for the metallics. Let's zoom it back out. Let's look at all the colors. Okay, is that zoomed out far enough? No. Okay, so let's get the case out of the way. And this. All right, so our entire color chart here. Of course, we start up with the white, and of course, these aren't in the right order, <laughs> but we do have quite a few nice yellows, including these. Some nice peaches going into the orange. So these are some nice, I like it when they have a nice light orange like that. Going into the reds, a lot of reds. We do, like these two are quite similar. Again, this one I'll probably move to the browns. No, I'm a little too far out, aren't I? Beautiful pinks, just gorgeous. And they all seem to have a different undertone to them. And then some, yeah, that's like a pinkish purple. So that'll get moved out, but oh, some beautiful purples. Even a really nice dark purple. Looks more like a dark red. And look at the pomegranate. Very, very dark. And then we have this shade of purples. Very pretty. Then our grape. Greek Sea. So these are kind of different. This definitely is more of a blue. I think I would leave that with the blues. And see yes, some gorgeous blues. Not a lot in this undertone though. More in the aquas. I mean until we get down to Honolulu. But then some really pretty dark blues. Then our purple <laughs> indigo and a couple of darker blues, and again, very nice dark, dark purple, and a nice dark, dark blue. Always nice to have. Going into our darker aquas. Again, I'll have to determine what's gonna go in the greens, what's gonna go in the blues, definitely in the blues. Then all of our greens. Beautiful greens. And the greens, too, they are all different. The, the only ones that are similar is long green and fern. They're very similar. And especially these two. Those are similar, but the rest of them are all really nice. The browns, good assortment of browns. The one thing you don't get in many, many pencil sets is just a nice tan color. <laughs> you know, one or two tans would be really nice. But these are really nice browns. And then we do have a nice assortment of grays. Again, if you're a gray person, you lose gray, you know, you use grays a lot. There's not a lot of grays in here. I do like having the slate gray in there. Um, I know a lot of people use like the Payne's Gray and the Prismacolor. Nice having that. And then, of course, our metallics. So what do you guys think? Do any of you have the Art and Fly pencils? And if so, what do you think of them? They are definitely a harder lead pencil. Um, yeah. So if you like, you know, the oil base, the harder lead, like the Polychromos, 
um, pencils like that. You know, you may like these. Like I said, they are very budget friendly. Uh, maybe you're first getting into coloring um, and you'd like to try a more budget set. Might want to, you know, try these out. Like I said, for 30 bucks, you get 120 colors and for 25 bucks, you know, you get the, the 72. So to me, $5 more, I would go with the 120 just because of, you know, more variety of color, but that's just me. And then again, only $5 difference between the 48 and the 72. But all right, that's it from me. Again, I will leave links to all three uh, pencil sets down below in the description. They are Amazon affiliate links. So if you do purchase through those links, I do get a little bit of a kickback from that, which goes directly back into the channel. And I will also link that pencil case. Thank you so much for sitting through this longer swatching video. Wasn't too bad. Other ones have been worse. <laughs> I really do appreciate it. As always, if you did enjoy it, please hit that thumbs up button on your way out. You can leave any questions, comments, or concerns down in the comment section below. I love reading through your comments. And of course, if you're not already subscribed, I would love to have you. I do usually try to post at least one video every day. Uh, once in a while, I'll miss a day. <laughs> I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. As always, happy coloring, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.